And now that chapter two is finished, we're at another intermission. All right, urgent topic. Typical way to start out the intermissions. You've been doing great these days, Itsuki. Well, here's mission number two. And this time, the coach will be... Ooh, curious. Do you want to know? But I'm afraid it's a secret. It's at the same place as last time. Uzume Lesson Studio. By the way, have you heard about Anzu? The apparel store in Harajuku? Apparently, they have outfits that were used in TV shows and movies, too. If you have time, you should take a look. The lesson can start anytime, so just come by whenever you feel you're ready. Awesome. Well, we are going to be exploring that new store because Harajuku is now accessible on the Tokyo Access map. That's going to be so fun. A topic from Tiki? What could it be about? Big Brother! Big Brother! What's up, Tiki? Listen, I found something in the Bloom Palace. Could you come by when you have a moment? Sure thing. I'll stop by later. Alright, the EX, or Extra Story, is split into small chapters that take place alongside the game's main and side stories. This is completely new to me. I think this is just part of it being Encore Edition. In addition to showing new scenes from the protagonist's lives and careers, they also allow you to obtain new skills and costumes, so you should pursue them whenever you get a chance. To begin the EX story, speak with Tiki at the Bloom Palace. I don't believe we're going to be doing that right now, since that is all new content. I I know that I haven't been going with Summer for quite a while now, but I just think it's honestly for the best um, that I wait for her to get that reaction along with me, because the EX story, we both know nothing about. Uh, Maiko, that was definitely a typo up there. Uh-oh. Is that a new side story? We have three side stories to do? This is insane. We're not gonna get to chapter three frickin' ever, are we? <laughs> We're, uh, so we do have Maiko's side quest, um, unlocked now. But we are going to be getting to that later. We have one for Ayaha, one for Kiria, one for Subasa, and now one for Maiko. All the ladies need Itsuki's help, okay? They all do. So we're going to be starting off this episode by talking with Tiki. Tiki, you said you found something? Yeah. Big brother, what do you dream about? Please tell me that this is not going to start the EX story. Like, I, I just want my carnage, bro. You mean, like, when I'm asleep? Give me a break, big brother. That's not the kind of dream I meant. <laughs> Tsubasa, do you have a dream? Just shuts Itsuki down. <sighs> Everything okay, Tsubasa? Huh? You just did a sigh. Have you been feeling tired? No! Nothing like that! I'm feeling great! Never perkier! Too perky, if anything. So perky, it's actually worrying me. I guess that's fine then. Um, so, the reason I asked about your dream is because it's related to this new discovery I made in the Bloom Palace. I found that there's this mysterious place inside the Idolosphere, and you can get there through a certain door. I only just discovered it, so I don't know a lot yet, but it's a place where wishes and dreams come true. Maybe. When I tried opening a treasure box in there, I got a music player that even I could use. Thanks to that, I can listen to all the Tiki songs people have made, even when I'm all alone. Finally, she gets some recognition. I see. 
That's why I think you two should try the treasure boxes in there too. Maybe your dreams will also come true. Maybe. Thanks, Tiki. The Area of Aspiration. You can now travel to the Area of Aspiration through a gate inside the Bloom Palace. Making your way through the Idolosphere there is how you'll progress through the EX story. Furthermore, in addition to regular items, the treasure boxes inside the Idolosphere can contain skills and costumes, so be sure to seek them out. Okay. So, um, we can go to the... Itaki, you are just glitching all over the place. <laughs> so now we can enter the area of aspiration. Uh, the EX Story Chapter 1 is now playable, but we are not going to be doing that. We might be super high level, but I don't want to ditch Summer out of new content that we both don't know about. I, I would not do that to her. So we can make uh, one new Carnage, which is fun. And we have two new Radiant skills, but there are new ones before when I did all that training before the boss, so I'm pretty sure there's more Radiant skills than that. Okay, so Krom has mastered uh, that colorful weapon, and we're ready to move on to the Noble Rapier. That's really... That's a beautiful sword. As per usual. Alright! New weapons, new weapons, new skills, new skills, new carnage, new carnage. That's the definition of this game. Okay, Shida. She is now ready to equip the Killer Lance. Gives us a resistance to ice. Yeah, it looks like that weapon can tank some ice. Look at how blue and silver that thing is. It's practically ice and carnage. It's also, like, very sharp. Like, that thing just looks like it could just, like, cut you, like, right in the neck and you're just deaded. Like, right then and there. You know, something that you would totally see a character like Tsubasa wielding, right? I'm really sad to leave the Poison Spear right now. Um, because it actually says at the bottom, Remember when I got this spear originally and I was like, I hope it can make my poison skill better? Yeah, well, I guess that wasn't totally a lie, because if you see the help thing at the bottom, it says your physical attacks all have a low chance to cause poison. And I definitely got that while I used other skills with Toma in prior battles, so... Uh, now we're just ready to equip the Silver Spear. This one has no effects, uh, just from the weapon itself, but it's very strong. And that's all we need Toma to be, really. It's definitely silver, isn't it? Very brightly silver. Ooh, the Hawthorne Spear, what the heck is that? That looks wicked. Alright, so now we are able to get the Spell Rod for Kidia. This one has no special effects either, but it gives us a resistance to ice and light. Oh, it has a little bunny on the top of it! Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Kiri, I didn't know you were into such cute things. Uh, Kitty, you just aged a few years younger by equipping that, but let me tell you, beating things up with a magical staff that has a bunny on the top of it, now that's a way to kill some enemies. I'm just saying. Okay, uh, Radiant Unities. Let's see what we got. Okay, so for Itsuki, we have Safety Leader. Enemies will have a harder time getting a surprise attack on you at the start of a battle. And that was from that Nightlight Blitz uh, that we got uh, in the Illusory Shibuya, so I'm really glad that I got that now. Because now enemies gonna have a harder time surprising me, which... Trust me, they're they're not just gonna have a harder time surprising me. I mean, it's just the surprise attack that's lowered, not the fact that I'm gonna get scared every five seconds by them. All right, and then um, Kidia has elusive distance, increases evade against physical attacks. That's wonderful because she has that skill that can help her uh, prevent a lethal blow from a magical attack, and now she just has higher evade against uh, physical attacks. So. Hopefully, nothing of a physical weapon would hit her, especially when our hit and evade is up. I mean, I know that it's not. It may not be much of a buff, but at least it's something. Turns out I didn't have any extra Radiant Unities. I guess I just thought I did. I don't know. Honestly, so much happens in this game by this point, and this is just the beginning of it. Eventually, we're gonna have, like, 
a lot more cast members that we're gonna have to do stories for, and carnage for, and skills for, and everything. It's just gonna be insane. So, our first uh, request is going to be today with Ayaha Oribe. Miss Maiko came back safely, and Tsubasa seems to be growing in her work as a model, too. You know, working here as a clerk, I tend to hear a lot of rumors about the entertainment industry. Most of it is just nonsense and hearsay, but there are some things that worry me. Itsuki, could you do me a favor and check a rumor out for me? Alright, the voiceless voice actress. Sure. This one seems interesting. Arigato. Uh, thank you, Itsuki. Have you heard of a voice actress named Nanane Amigo? She voices Grippin on the people of Daitama Village. She's a rising star in the voiceover industry. It seems that she recently fell into a bit of a depression, which isn't like her at all. I think a mirage might have done something to her, and if that's the case, we can't ignore it. She's currently performing in an event at Daitama Observatory. Could you go check up on her? I sure can. More mirages that we got. Wait a minute. Ellie's here. I gotta go talk to Ellie. We did meet Ellie in the last episode. So, that's cool. Nani. What? I'm not slacking off. I just got back from a shoot. Any professional actor knows you have to rest up afterwards. Yes, we practically know you are Sleeping Beauty, and that's pretty much the done deal, isn't it? I really do want to check out Harajuku, and we will do that uh, either in the end of this episode, depending on how long the side quest is, um, or we will do it at the end of today. So let's go to Daitama Observatory. See what we can get out of this quest. Let's see if we can find this girl. Uh, not sure. Oh, is this her? Yes, this is her. I should just return to my dressing room. No, I've come this far, and they're all waiting to hear me. But my voice, it's no good. I can't go on like this. Why? Why did this? Mm -hmm. Itsuki, from the looks of it, there is no doubt that her performa has been stolen. Oh, so it is a Mirage's doing. We should to return to Ayaha and report this to her. Okay. Warping again. <laughs> yeah, that, that doesn't look as much of a depression as it just looks that she's suffering. Um, yeah, I know she's growing as a model. Itsuki reported Nanane Anigo's condition to Ayaha. Just as I thought, Nanane Anigo had her performa stolen, huh? I asked Tiki to look into this matter as well. She sensed a strong voice performa at Daitama's idolosphere. I uh, figured. The mirage we're looking for must be there. Please get her performa back as soon as possible. I'm counting on you, Itsuki. Okay, sounds good. I'm just gonna go to the idolosphere and I'll be right back. Uh, as soon as I know where to go. We're going into the Atlasphere. Alright, let's figure out where this boss is lurking, shall we? I'm gonna just kill some guys along the way. That's be fine, right? There's no warp points in here, so we're just gonna have to take our time looking at the floating boxes and Mirages chasing me. Why do they still continue to chase me? I'm like, y'all are like level 3. Like, get out of here. Are you just asking for death? I think they are. Oh. There's another request? Oh my gosh. Wait. The mass sales clerk from the Hiho Mart is here. What am I doing here, you ask? I'm gathering materials for a very he important task. It's not so simple on my own. Perhaps you'll he help me? Slick skull delivery. Okay. 
Thanks, Hee-Hong. I'll leave the he rest to you. Take this with you. Obtain the slick skull. Nice. I need four more of these. You can find them from Dark Mages. Heo! They're all he over the place. So just look around. Bye, my home. That is a very annoying voice. I'm sorry. Are you just gonna... You're just gonna walk away? Oh, Excuse me. Whatever. Alright, well, I guess we're gonna start beating up some dark mages then. Wait, what the... What in the world? Itsuki, that's the mirage that stole the voice performer. Oh, it does look very different. Okay. Let's go! I was like, oh, there's an enemy on the map there, and... <laughs> This voice performa, power is flowing through me. What level even are you, bro? Oh, that's a lot of enemies. This might be a tough fight. This guy is level 24. Okay, that's not too bad. All right, so I think I'm gonna start off by Maz by using Mazio against everybody. We'll start off by taking out the cast cards, I guess. Because they should be pretty easy picking. Uh, yeah, I say that and then they die. Perfect, that's two of them gone. And are they weak to... No, this, it's only the boss that's weak to that. What are they weak to? Are they weak to fire? No, they're weak to ice. And they resist wind. Okay, so... Yep, I think I'm just gonna go skewer uh, the Dark Mage boss. Let's do it! Wow, that guy went down way easier than expected, Miragi. That hurt. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you burning my whole team. Thank you. It's appreciated, bro. Get out of here, you turds. Does this count as one of the dark mages that I have to take out for this, uh, for this quest, though? I have no sleep. That's right. I forgot about that. Alright, we're just gonna keep you alive with uh, just kidding, apparently my regular attack does enough damage. I was gonna keep it up so I could use Medea, but... Whatever. Guess I'm not getting what I wanted this time around. Fine. Are you trying to learn Horse Slayer again? I mean, I could have Horse Slayer plus one right now, but I don't see why I would when I already, A, have a two, hor uh, two sword attacks, and then I have... Toma already with Horse Slayer. No, we're just gonna forfeit mm -hmm. that. That's kind of an easy decision. Okay, Sheeta got Fire Lunge, uh, plus one now. She already had that. Cool. Oh, she's gonna get Mazan next. Oh, I'm excited for that. Mabufu! My life! Mabufu is just a Bufu on the whole enemy party, similar to Mazio. Um. I do like Lullaby Song, but I'm just wondering if it's... It might be useful. I want Augie just be... Man, that's perplexing, because I really like how she has all these different types of magics. Do I want to get rid of Lullaby Song? I mean, it really hasn't been all that accurate as I would have wanted it to be. But then Secunda, nah, that does lower their hit, which is nice. I guess I have Hamstring, though, and then I also have... Sorry I'm thinking about it so much. I think I'm gonna get rid of Secunda, actually, because the sleep might be useful, since it affects all enemies, too. I do want Bufu, just in case I have to concentrate on one. Oh, that was another... Uh, I did get it from defeating that boss. That's cool. Itsuki defeated the Mirage and freed the stolen Performa. Mm. That should do it. Let's return and follow up with the girl. Mm. Yeah. Just after I complete this other Joker. quest... Oh my god! Oh, there's another one! Well, um... Yeah, these battles are 510 damage just casually. Whatever. <laughs> you can tell how little we get from these fights now. Okay, got another one. So that makes three of them, so I think I need two more. 
Would any more dark mages like to play a little game of see who can kill who faster? Uh, I'm, I'm running from this one. Bye. We really don't need to be in these fights unless there's dark mages in them. Wonder if she says anything different. Nope. Well, hopefully we'll see you at another point. Because I, I love your kind, the cleric army. Okay. Oh, there's another one. Yeah! And you know what? This is how you end a battle in style. You just zap everybody. <laughs> Yay. I guess this is free SP as well, so we're building up our specials for the next idol sphere. That makes sense. I guess we're getting a little bit of skill experience. Alright, there should only be one more that we need now. These missions can sometimes be a bit tedious. Okay, time to Mazio again. And gone. <laughs> Just kill him. Alright, not a moment too soon, and we have all of them. I found everything I was asked to get. Time to report back to the Hiho Mart. Yep, I was already planning on going there already. Okay, well, I'm gonna save you some trouble and actually make a decent cut here. And I will see you back at the Fortuna office uh, to finish up Ayaha's request. See you in a minute. And we back! Oh. You want me to report to her first? Okay. <laughs> wow, I went all the way there for nothing. <laughs> oh, silly me. I don't know why I was feeling so down. I can touch people's hearts with my voice, so I need to have confidence in myself and work hard. She looks like she'll be okay now. Yep, that sounds pretty okay to me. I'm honestly, I don't think I did this in my first playthrough of the game. I don't think I even have this side quest, so I wonder what I get for completing it. Speaking of completing it... Itsuki told Ayaha that he recovered Nanane and Nigo's performa. Good work, Itsuki. I heard the event at Daitama was well received. It... Well received? It just happened. It didn't even happen. Ayaha... There may be similar cases involving mirages that aren't apparent on the surface. I'll let you know if I hear anything suspicious. And when that time comes, I'll be counting on you, Itsuki. Request complete. I got a clap track. What is that again? I remember getting one of the idol is not skills. I remember getting one in the previous idol sphere, but restores one bar of SP. Oh, wow. I'll take them. I will most certainly take them. Okay, now we will go ahead and head to uh, Hiho Mart to go finish up the other quest that we got from the location that was from the other quest. It was a quest within a quest. Do you say anything different? Heard they had some kind of photo thing in front of the station, huh? I'd have gone to take a look if I'd heard earlier. At least you're not calling Yoshido a bastard anymore. Okay, Mr. Miss... Not Mr. Miss Heho Martin 3. He thinks! Let's do business again sometime. Handed over five slick skulls. Yay. I got a Mel Mark. My favorite. And Repel Water? Okay, we'll, we'll check that out in just a minute. I want to see about buying some stuff. Like... See, they did have dis seals, but I didn't know that he was uh, going to have a seal skill because I didn't get far enough in the battle for that. Um, what I did buy was attack mirrors, and uh, they repel single non-almighty physical attacks against the party, which is nice if it's just a physical attack that affects the whole um, of your squad. I actually bought a couple of them, but I didn't know that he was going to have that Dire Slice Ultra or whatever it was called. Um, 
And I guess the attack mirror would have deflected that considering it was against the party instead of just one person, but... Eh. We're just gonna buy not 11 of them. Oh my gosh, no. We're gonna buy, like, three disc seals, I think. And I think the disc charms will be fine. Hotra stones? Uh, I have four of them, so I think that's okay. But I want Amrita sodas. After that battle, Amrita sodas I found are very useful. So we will buy them. Thank you. And I got one Melmark. Yay, my favorite. And does the regular Hiho Mart employee have anything different? Oh, they do, I think. Ooh, what's all this? Repeller spray. Prevents enemies lower than Itsuki's level from appearing for a fixed number of steps. I don't think I need that. Increases appearance rate. I definitely don't want that. Detects hidden traps. I think we already have Kidia for that. Faster in S. Slows enemy movement when spotted for a fixed number of steps. I already have one of those? When did I get one? I don't know. Portable exit is just like a free traport. A disposable umbrella and a gardening hatchet. Uh, we have hand axes and javelins for that kind of stuff. I do want to buy maybe a couple more fresh spicy curries because they do revive allies. And then I want some more ice packs as well because ice packs were very useful in that boss fight. And we got two more Melmarks. So I guess we can use the Hero Mart lottery one time. Let's draw a lot, see what we get. A flashlight! Yay! I want a flashlight from Hiho Mart, my favorite. Okay, the next place on our shopping to-do list is to see if there's anything new at Karabia. We're getting the old places out of the way before we go to the new place, right? We gotta do that. The music's so calming here, it's beautiful. Thank you for coming today. Yep, they got new stuff too. What have we got? Okay, so the power bangle is now has the wizard. Uh, I saw a wizard ring. Sorry, muscle bangle. Uh, it increases defense, resistance, and strength. Oh wow! Wow, that's actually really good. Sixteen thousand yen, though. Wow. And then we have the metal brooch that just increases armor by a lot and defense and resistance. Um, I have an idea for who's gonna have the metal brooch, but I don't think I'm gonna have it on anybody in the current party, but I think we're just gonna give the muscle bangle to Toma. Maybe? Well, it does, I mean, it does increase his armor. Uh, sure. I guess so. I would give, um, Kitty the, the wizard ring, but I don't think it's worth it for just one extra magic. I did change Toma's gear, if you had noticed. Like, his wardrobe outfit. Because the wizard ring will only increase her magic plus one, and her armor will go up a little bit more. But, I don't think so. I don't think it's needed. Okay! So, not much from Karabia. But now we're going to head to probably one of me and Summer's favorite stores in the game. I didn't think it was going to open up this fast, but it is Harajuku. Let's go to their accessory store. Welcome to this massive street. There's our accessory store right there. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. A crepes place. Yeah. It looks amazing. I want to go here. Where's this in my life? Dona Dona Burger. Every menu item costs 450 yen. 11k steak, Dona Dona fried set, or Demi Non Burger. Ooh, steak. Sure, why not? Let's spend some money. A simply divine slab of protein, rightfully praised by student and noble alike. And of course, Toma liked it, gosh dang it. Okay, what do people have to say? There is so I see, I don't want to unlock any of these conversations until I'm ready to do their side quest. So, their other uh, messages are just gonna have to waltz in later. There are some people we can talk to. Anzu even supplies the professionals, too. 
they're fashionable, but not cheap. I gathered that. Yeah. What do you think? Don't I look like an idol? I got it at Anzu. It's the same outfit that one of the generics had in the very first episode. There's like a crepes place down here too. Oh my gosh, this sounds amazing. Nah, nah. So, spill it. What girl and in what class? Uh, well, it's... Oh no, they are in a conversation called High School Drama 101. Konnichiwa. Hello, please try one of our chewy, fluffy crepes here at Crepe Dia. I can't do that because apparently I'm not allowed. Who are you, sir? Mm. Oh, well, this sucks. Am I just gonna rot away in this place? Hmm. I can't even summon up the power to drain for performer from a human right in front of me. Well, I'm dead. Powerless. Screwed. I want to get back to an idolist here. At least you got a cute hat. At least if you die, you won't have to worry about dying not in style. I guess. <laughs> I love this place! It's like freaking uh, cosplay heaven up in here. <laughs> this is your first time here, isn't it? Anzu Tokyo is a shop that carries collectible goods from the entertainment industry, such as concert quality costumes. The shop also stocks a variety of posters, which can only be won through its lottery. Playing the lottery will cost a Melmark. We want this lottery, because a lot of posters are in this game, and actually I think Summer and I collected all of them in our first playthrough. It took a lot of Melmarks, I'm not gonna lie, I feel like we were just spam buying shit at Heho Mart just to have enough uh, Melmarks to keep going back to this place. Okay, so each of the uh, characters should have, yes, for some ex for a very pricey amount of yen, we can get new outfits on every unit. And as you can see there, uh, the shiny feel one is the same outfit that Tsubasa wore for her feel performance, and this was the outfit she wore when she um, posed for Horinozawa. This, I really want both of these, but this one is 51,000 yen. That is almost half of my funds. So you know what, we're gonna buy this one for right now because I okay, love this great. outfit so much. Yes, I do want to change into it as well. Oh, yes! It looks great on you! Yeah, because I've worn it before. We also have uh, the bull outfits, which is really neat. He looks really cute in that, too. I just don't like the pants, personally. And that's a lot going on, to be honest. Maybe I'll send these a summer, and I'm gonna go off screen, and I'm gonna buy some of these uh, at a later time. <gasps> dominant queen, but like she is the dominant queen. Also, that's a lot of uh, cleavage in that. Okay, kitty, yeah, that's a little bit too much. But I love this outfit too much. You know what? We got the money. We're buying it. Remember that moment I said that 51,000 yen was like half my account and I was like, nah, we're not buying it. Well, I changed my out- I've changed my mindset on that pretty quickly, didn't I? Six Melmarks. So you can- you can get a lot of Melmarks just by buying stuff off of that. The ultimate collectible for a diehard fan. We have some new posters. Can you collect them all? Look at all of them. This is just the tip of the iceberg, y'all. Just the tip of the iceberg. We have 18 Melmarks. We are going to draw a lot of lots right now. We got Dio Witchy Roha! So if you hold R, you can just see it all together. Just revel in its beauty. It's such it's such a cute looking anime. Any posters you win will be added to your key items. At any time, you may select a poster from the items menu and press A to view it. Okay, lot number two. Reincarnation! That was one that we saw a long time ago, and we get to see the art up close. Man, that outfit is so amazing. Oh, 
Uh, Jack shaved ice. It's a hee ho mart ad. Those. Okay, another one. Let's keep going. Civ Live. Why do those two look like they could somehow pass as like brother and sister in some very, very remote theory? Those. Number five. Utaloi Tiki! Oh my gosh, look at how, like, amazing the detail work is in that one. Utaloi Tiki. Man, I didn't- we haven't seen her with, like, our own Tiki with, like, her hair up and stuff like that. No. Sounds adorable. Masquerader Raiga! Toma will love that one, that's for sure. Won't he? No. Oh, there's Feel! Yay! Oh, oh it's, lol, it's now on sale. Yay! You can buy it at your local Spotify, I guess. It's not on there. Oh, so, just like in any lottery, eventually, <laughs> you'll just be like, but it's been won before. And you get a pocket tissue or some sort of other, like, random consolation prize. Let's keep going. <laughs> You did it! We have a big winner! What? Excuse me? What's that? Tiki at Street. What? Dress up AR are data that are designed for the Utiloid known as Tiki. As you obtain these, you can customize how Tiki looks at the Bloom Palace. You can change your costume in the Unity That's menu. Enough. We're going there right now! I will see you in a minute. I have to make this a thing. You don't understand. Tiki 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 I have clothes for you to try on! I'm so excited right now. Dress up AR. Oh my gosh. At street fashion. Oh my gosh. Give me a sec! Oh, oh, badass Tiki! What is this? Ah, that's so amazing! It gives me life. Oh, she doesn't wear it. Uh, she doesn't wear it in the actual Bloom Pals, like before you actually talk to her. But every time that we talk to her, oh my gosh, that's amazing! She looks like a rap artist now. Street Vibe Tiki. I'm all about that. Okay, so speaking of being in the Bloom Palace, I did want to say that I was going to show everyone uh, how effective the training area is in this game. So I'm going to head to the training area. We're not doing the area of aspiration. I almost clicked on that. <laughs> uh, we're going to enter the training area, and I'm going to show off exactly what you do in the training area. So basically, there's like these series of little items that you find in each of the four corners of this area and uh, periodically the enemies will get stronger um until they are enemies that you have never seen before personally i just ignore them but just to show it off every few seconds um the atmosphere is going to change oh yeah it's time for the queen to make her reveal <laughs> Well, would you look at that? Man, she looks pretty. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. So these are just the little Nickel Wise and uh, Caspar guys that we fought uh, within like the first two idols here. We can just one-shot them too. It's literally just a rendition of every single Idolosphere enemy that we've ever fought up to this point. But eventually, they will get so strong that they're gonna be enemies that we're gonna see in the future. So, and you also get tomes for completing all these battles. I will be going over what the tomes do in just a little bit. Gold bars are just sellable stuff for money. It's probably the least valuable item in this whole Idolosphere. But also, after you take a certain amount of steps, sometimes the items will just disappear, so you only have a very limited time to be in the Idolosphere. Um, well, I guess you can consider this an Idolosphere. It's just a very, very, very small one. I do not want to fight you, sir. 
I'm after your little gem friends that are lurking in the corners of the map. Okay, the atmosphere's changed. The enemies have grown stronger. Okay, they're getting stronger and stronger and stronger. Time for another reveal. It's so dramatic. That's cute. Oh, I want to see how much damage Fatal Sword does. 243 damage, that's pretty great. Awesome. So now we're fighting the Shamans, they, and they were just in the most recent... Yeah, they were in the most recent Idol Sphere, I think. Yeah, we fought them in... Um... And we got a stage rank up for Itsuki, awesome. New Radiant Unity. Uh, Leader's Ardor. And a new skill, Res Boost. I think I want that over Skill Boost right now. I'd rather be more defensive, honestly, because we have ways to raise our hit rates. Fine. Two skill not needed. Okay, let's grab this one. And then there's just one more corner. That was three tomes. That one's a really good one. Like I said, all I did for a little bit here is I just stood around here for a hot minute and grabbed some tomes from a couple of enemies and just walked out. And by the way, it restarts to the weakest enemies every single time that, um... Every single time that you go in, it'll just reset to, like, the level 3 and 4 enemies that you received from before. I have 23 messages. Oh my gosh. We will be getting through all of these. Like, don't worry. <laughs> but let me show you these tomes. Now, these tomes... I have 9 of them. Not just from this fight. I had a few left over from my training before. But it grants EXP limited to the amount needed to level up. So, if I just give every character two of them, or just one of them, depending on how close they are to the next level, and I go into casting, you can see that all of their experience to the next level is now zero. So if I were to go back into the training area and fight just the weak, weak, weak enemies, just in one battle, Everyone will get a level up. It is absolutely busted. Honestly. Let me just show off this absolutely broken way to train. As soon as this battle's over, I'm in for the most aesthetically pleasing form of leveling up all your characters that I've ever seen. Everyone now has- uh, everyone has zero experience, and now it's just everyone gets a level up. It's amazing. Level 29 for Itsuki. Very, very nice. My Tsubasa, uh, has been getting pretty insane. Those stats are very well balanced. I love it. Kidia is doing amazing stuff. Two magic, all you need. Wow. Okay, good level for everyone. And that's all it takes. So what I've been thinking of doing in the future is that I'm just going to personally be um, going into the training area just for a little bit before every single battle uh, in the, well, boss battle in each of the idol spheres just to train my units up a few levels. We probably will be pretty over level just for the basic starter mirages in the next idol sphere, but honestly, I'd rather be over leveled than under leveled. Well, that was a fun episode. We got a couple of side quests done, and we did our shopping for everything that we need for the next Idolosphere. And in the next episode, I think we're going to do Maiko's side quest, and depending on how hard that one is going to be and how long it's going to take, we might do one of the other cast members' side stories as well. This was Skymer, and we all hope you have a lovely day. Bye bye